happy Sabbath. Oh, thank you. Um, we have some little ones here. I want to tell a story to. I think um, the story that I'm going to tell you, I think you hear it over and over again. You know, it was a time when Jesus was with us. And you know, Jesus went all about the place and blessed others. He blessed both the well ones, those that are hearty and strong, and he blessed also the old and the sickly, and he blessed also the children. One day, children, one day, Jesus was with his disciples, and the parents of the children took their little ones to Jesus to be blessed. And to his surprise, what do you think happened? When he looked, thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you ever been to a place where you want to see someone and somebody come and says, no, that person is too busy to see you? How would you feel? Sad. What about you? How would you feel? Upset. Upset. How would you feel? You don't know? Well, take the other two answer, okay? You would be sad and upset, wouldn't you? Yes, you would be sad and upset. And that particular day, the mothers and those who bring the little ones to Jesus, do you think they were upset? Yes. But guess, it was not just them alone was upset, but Jesus himself was displeased. Jesus himself was displeased. Don't you think so? Yes. Jesus was upset and he was displeased with the disciples. Sending, I use the word nicely, sending the little ones away. But the disciples was very rude to them. You know, sometimes we think differently. But... Jesus, he calls to them and says, no, that is not the way I wanted it. The way I want it is, is that you suffer little children to come unto me and forbid them not. For such is the kingdom of God. You know, Jesus have a love, special love for the children, the little ones. The babies, the young ones. And here we find Jesus on that day saying to his disciples, that is not the way. Suffer the little ones to come unto me. And the thing about the whole matter is that, and this is what we must mark, this word, Jesus was displeased with his disciples. Do you sometimes displease Mommy and Daddy? Yeah? What about you? What about you? Yeah? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, Mommy loves you, Daddy loves you, but they have to see that you grow up right, isn't it? And this was the job of Jesus that not only the adults, but he cares for the little ones, the lamb. The tender ones who need to be guided. Okay? So when the disciples sending them away, he was very displeased. And he had to speak to them in a special way. Not to allow their thoughts to go astray from their job. They to suffer. They to allow the little ones to come to Jesus. And this is why sometimes, you know, in the home and in church, you have special work for the little ones to do. To train them to love who? Jesus. 
and to serve him from youth until they grow up to be men and women. Now, Jesus, he loves you. Hello. Do Jesus love you? Yes. Eh? Does Jesus love you? Does Jesus love you? Yes. Yes. Jesus loves each and every one of us. And we have to love Jesus because of the great work that he has done for us. Okay? And when mommy and daddy speak to you in the home and in church service, you're going to obey. For Jesus wants both mommy and daddy and the little ones to obey him. Okay? That we can able to live with him here on earth and to be ready to meet him when he comes. Okay? So we have to train from here how to love Jesus and to be obedient to Jesus from little children right up to adults. That when he comes, he will take both children and adults to heaven with him. You all right? Have you heard? Yes. And do you like that? Would you like to go home with Jesus when he comes? Well, we have to be good boys and good girls, okay? And that Jesus can take us to his home above, okay? Right. Now, I'm going to stop here. And I'm going to have a little prayer for you. Okay? Let's close our eyes. <clears throat> Let's close our eyes. Father, we thank you for the little ones. We ask that thy spirit will dwell richly within their heart. That they may learn to love mommy and daddy and others around them. That when you comes, you may be able to take them home with you to glory. For Christ's sake, I pray. Amen. Remember now, Jesus loves? Yeah. Jesus loves? Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>